everyone, this is Humbill's Blah Blah Corner as well for the sixth time. Uh, this is episode six, and I'm your host, Humbill, for today and every week in the future. So don't be disappointed. Wow, good to know that people have done their homework after last week's Blah Blah. The amount of students that did their homework is overwhelming. Uh, it was so overwhelming that I was going to get all the pictures of the homework that you guys and gals did and stick it onto one big A4 page. But I actually passed on that because uh, there was just too many. It would take too many A4 pages for me to print it out and I don't have that much money so I passed. No, just jokes. And another thing, when I uh, stuck it onto the page, the pictures became too small and crowded so that so you couldn't really see it properly. So I'll pass on that as well. And I wanted to reply to every one of your comments because I was so thankful, but I passed on that as well, sorry. Because uh, it would have just just taken too much time. But that's a good thing. A lot of you are doing your homework, that's a good thing. So what I actually did was uh, go into every one of your comments, or as many as I could, and press the like button. I worked hard out, it was epic. So tell me that I did a good job, right? Right, so the main point I want you to know is how thankful I am. This week, what we shall learn, okay, this is it. So don't, uh, actually I prepared this a little bit earlier because my handwriting is not Da Vinci if you haven't noticed already and I've noticed that many of you have better handwriting than me, which saddens me a lot. Thus, this is something I prepared a little earlier. Earlier. Here it is. Push well. Literally it means I want to see you. To want to want to see you. And in a more conversational context, context it means I miss you. It's a really important phrase in Korean and in in English because I think it makes um, the opposition happy. Yeah. And in terms of uh, let us promotions. Just talking about our promotion. We've been having an album out every two or three months, except this time around the stop point has gone a bit longer than we thought. Uh, and a lot of people are asking when we're coming back out. Uh, but it won't be too long, I don't think. And uh, a lot of you think that we're sitting on the couch watching Saturday Night Live and SpongeBob and not doing anything, but that's not true. We're preparing for a concert in Japan for the April 3rd, no, May the 3rd, May the 3rd, May the 3rd, May the 3rd. And Music Note actually, it takes a lot more work than you think. Um, uploading it every week is very time consuming. Um, yeah, so we have been actually uh, pretty busy. And just to make things busier, there'll be some good news heading your way very soon. <laughs> very soon, very soon, <laughs> very soon, very soon. Uh, I humble actually will be. Now nah, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there. I don't wanna. I don't wanna reveal everything. So I'll stop there. Um, you're getting curious, right? But people uh, have been wondering what I'm up to, and uh, I want to make the point. I want to make is that I need every support from you guys that I can get, because I humble very soon will be in the very near future will be. Now nah, I'm gonna stop it. Don't want to reveal it. Don't want to give away too many hints. But uh, yeah, that's enough for you. And there will be good news. I can assure you of that. Now uh, back back to the lesson. I'll put today's lesson into uh, context for you. Bullish pearl. Bullish pearl. I miss you. Very easy. But wonder if uh, I'm gonna put it into context. But I wonder if uh, Kwang is gonna come around, drop by. And uh, help me a bit about it, but um, yeah, I don't want to make a fool of myself. I don't want a one man show and do and like look like a loner. But I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you. So context. This is what you guys need to say uh, to get us to come out with an album very soon. Again, if enough of you say it, I promise that we will be releasing a new album as soon as. Maybe like a month, within a month? I promise you, I promise you. Or better still.
Learn the Apple Pogosh Pro. Learn the Apple Pogosh Pro. If you, if enough of you say that, then I'm sure our members will be very, very happy. Just, just like go on Facebook to say, Learn the Apple Pali Pogosh Pro. Learn the Apple Pogosh Pro. We miss Learn Apple. It makes us happy. It's, it's a lot of support. Or better still, better still than Learn the Apple Pogosh Pro is Hunger Pogosh Pro. I miss Hunger. And I, I know most of you do as well. Mm. So don't get me wrong. Hamburg uh, Pogosh Pro. Hamburg Pogosh Pro. If you say that to me up front, then who knows? I might, I might, uh, I might come out with a solo. Solo. If not, then um, I'll abandon my silly thoughts on the solo. If you, if you don't miss me that much. So, let it put Pogosh Pro. Hamburg Pogosh Pro. So. Instead of or instead of Hamil and uh, Led Apple, if you're a fan of uh, another artist, just sub substitute your favorite artist into this little box, that little box there. So if you're a Shawol, then you write Shiny into the box. Shiny Pogushpo. Or if you're a VIP, Big Bang Pogushpo. Or if you're an Inspirit, Infant Pogushpo. Very easy, very easy. Not difficult at all, but. As simple as it is, it's a very important and fundamental phrase in Korea and for everyday Korean life and of course for uh, Korean relationships as well. Um, but, uh, for example, mm, mm, there might be some side effects to it uh, with the latter two, like VIP for Big Bang Bush Pearl, um, Big Bang Bush Pearl, Shiny Bush Pearl. Infinite push for the side effects it are that uh, us the Apple wouldn't wouldn't even give you an eye. No, never in the world. We'd rather go for Vegemite. I like Vegemite. So just kidding about that. Just kidding, guys. So yeah. So in that box or square there, just put in the name of whoever you miss. In my case, Oma push I miss my mom. And even better still, later, letter. I really miss Leather. I want to see them again, my fans. And I forgot, I'm going to teach you how to teach out Korean fans some English as well at the same time because a lot of you can't, a lot of my Korean friends can't understand me on blah blah. So uh, they're trying to desperately learn English just to understand this segment of blah blah. That's what I've heard. So until the day comes where you can't understand blah blah without the, side, uh, uh, the subtitles, I'm going to try and work my butt off to try and teach you English and Korean at the same time. Um, okay, so I'll go back to the page for you Koreans that don't understand English that much. Uh, I think Korean. Here it is. Pogushpa is means I miss you. Easy, right? Really simple. So just go up to someone, uh, your boyfriend maybe or girlfriend. I miss you if you have an uh, English speaking Partner. Uh, yeah, easy as that. So, Polish word in English is I want to see you. Polish word, your model, I want to see you, I miss you. Okay? I miss you. La Bohe. So, to my Korean mates, try writing this in English um, yourselves and on your sketchbook, on your hand, on your mum's face, on your own face, wherever, and upload it onto Facebook. Facebook, you upload this video, suggestion video. So until the globe does the homework that Hamil has sent, blah blah will go on. Homework for this week: write who you miss. Blah blah blah. Bullish, but that's the homework for this week. And this was Hamil, guys. Latest, what an excellent lesson. I'm a great teacher. And stay tuned for uh, gentlemen music. Now. And I'm gonna have some good news for you. So stay tuned for Hamil news as well. See you guys.